All right, y'all, we're here in downtown San Antonio, gonna highlight some of the top things to do in the inner city downtown area of the great city of San Antonio, the Alamo, Tower of the Americas, the Alamo Dome, we're gonna see it all. Here we're starting behind me at the River Center. The River Center is kind of one of the focal points of the downtown area. It's a big shopping mall located right on the Riverwalk itself. And so for those of you who haven't been here, you essentially have the big mall behind me and then you come down to the river level where we are now and you've got all these access to different shops, restaurants, bars, entertainment, nightlife, and more all along the banks of the San Antonio River. It's a really, really cool experience. We're gonna jump right in and see what we can find down here today at River Center. All across America, a lot of malls are dying out, as you all know, but there's a couple of hold-ons like the Galleria in Houston. The River Center Mall is one of those. It's always populated. There's always people in there shopping, dining, and having a great time. So definitely check it out. Lots of different stores, all your classics that should sell shoes, different apparel, sports apparel, and so, so much more inside the River Center shops. Make sure it's one of your first stops here when you come to the downtown area. All right, so behind me is one of the coolest theaters that we have in San Antonio and actually in the U.S. So for those of you who don't know, who aren't crazy movie buffs, there's a premium format of IMAX that's actually shot on big film called a 70 millimeter. This year when they released Oppenheimer, that was all the rage to see Oppenheimer and 70 millimeter IMAX. And there's less than like 30 theaters nationwide that carry this large premium format. Here is one of them here at the River Center downtown San Antonio, right at the Riverwalk. This AMC 11 has an, a 70 millimeter IMAX machine, which is nuts. Look this thing up if you guys uh, want. The spool of film that this thing uses is absolutely ignorant. They actually had to make like an extender just to fit the reel for Oppenheimer. So definitely check it out. One of the few theaters in America that offers it. And we have one here in downtown San Antonio. So behind me, you have the Go Rio River Cruise Center. So there's a little booth over there, a little box office window where you can go and get your tickets. And what it is are these boats that they run constantly all day while the sun's out for these tours. They're essentially guided boat tours where you sit in, you get in the boat, you get in a chair and you relax and you cruise the banks of the river, walk all the way around learning about the history and everything that went into building kind of this downtown area. They talk about different things like the floodgates that exist and all the history along the river walk, famous people that have been down here and more. So definitely check them out. And what's cool about the river cruises is if you're with a group and you want to do something memorable and really, really great experience, you can actually book an entire boat for a private dinner cruise. That's right, they will cook and cater for you while you're in the boat, table and everything, cruising the banks of the San Antonio Riverwalk. Definitely don't miss it out, or don't miss out on this if you come down here, guys. This is a really cool experience that you have to do it at least once. So we're here during the daytime, but we're gonna definitely have some footage of this at night so you can see it. But what you got behind me is strands of lights coming from these trees. So what they do with the Riverwalk, right after Thanksgiving, they do a huge ceremony where they actually illuminate the whole banks of the Riverwalk, over 100,000 strands of lights. It is amazing, it is beautiful at night. You have to come down and check it out if you're here between Thanksgiving and the end of December. Don't miss the lighted up Riverwalk. It is well worth your time. All right, so behind me is one of the most picturesque scenes on the Riverwalk. This is before we get into kind of all the buildings that have the restaurants and the shops and the dining in them. So it's one of the natural parts of the river walk that are left with all the different stone and flower beds and some relaxing chairs where you can have a great time. Something interesting that I wanted to point out here, which is why we stopped, is you'll notice behind me, there's a large section that has a lack of a railing along the river walk. It actually gets worse as you keep going. As you keep going to the main part where all the dining is, there's no railings at all. So it definitely gets a little tight and crowded and it's definitely interesting on big events because people are walking like this close to the edge feels like they're gonna fall in. One of the weird things about the river walk in San Antonio, no railing. So behind me is a little bit of a piece of what you would expect to find on the main banks of the river walk once you start kind of coming to where all the shops and restaurants are. This is a little piece of just that. Spend a couple hours down here walking around and you might be surprised what kind of different shops and restaurants you'll find. You can have a great meal at one of these amazing establishments right here on the bank of the San Antonio River. Definitely check it out, have a little exploration and you'll be surprised what you'll find here at San Antonio on the Riverwalk. All right, so we're jumping from the Riverwalk now, kind of continuing our tour of downtown. We're right up here on the banks of the Riverwalk but on the main city level where all the streets and the cars are. Behind me you have this unique monument called it's got a Spanish name, but it translates to the Friendship Torch. So it's a Friendship Torch was commissioned by a group of Hispanic uh, business people living in San Antonio, and they wanted to go ahead and kind of create a gift from Mexico to the U.S. And so the Mexican government actually back in 2002 presented this to the city of San Antonio as a gift, and then it got installed downtown where it's been ever since. All right, so right behind me on the other side of this fence is the Alamo Plaza, where, of course, historic Alamo still has its mission that is available for you to tour here in San Antonio. 
right behind the fence, they're building an actual visitor slash museum, visitor center slash museum that's under construction right now and will be open here in 2024, uh, early 2025 for your enjoyment. So definitely check it out if you're coming here at that time frame to see the museum and learn so much about the rich history of the downtown San Antonio area and the Alamo itself. All right, so right behind me is, of course, one of the most recognizable buildings in the downtown San Antonio, and that is the Alamo itself. A 13-day battle occurred here in this very plaza where I'm standing right now. We are within what would have been the four perimeter walls that would have surrounded the Alamo. And what's left behind me is the one of the missions, the mission inside the Alamo. That is the building that is still standing and available for tours. So during the 13-day battle for the Alamo back in 1836, that happened right here on these grounds where the Mexican National Army was battling the Texas Rangers right here. And that great battle that y'all know, and we ended up winning our independence two weeks later after that battle. So crazy, crazy history that occurred in this plaza. They still offer tours of the mission where you can go in and actually walk these, these halls and the history that's downtown in San Antonio. Definitely make this one of your stops the next time you're in the downtown area. So right behind me is one of the most historic buildings in the downtown San Antonio area, the Majestic Theater. Opened in 1929, when it was originally built, they were building it and designing it to be the most advanced building that was built in the state of Texas. It was actually the first building in the state to be completely air conditioned back when it opened in 1929. So really cool piece of history. Today it's still in use. They did a big expansion back in the 90s where they did a big multi-million dollar renovation and stage expansion. And so there's different concerts that are in here, different orchestra shows and Broadway and so many cool things that happen at the Majestics. So if you've never been, you have to check it out in the heart of downtown San Antonio. Behind me is one of the best places that you can eat in the downtown area if you're a high-end restaurant, especially a steak lover. Bohannon's Prime Steaks behind me is one of the best steakhouses that we have here to offer in the city of San Antonio. A lot of different famous people have come through these, this restaurant. A lot of different NBA players and people that have visited our great city love to dine here at Bohannon's. Definitely check it out if this is your thing. Don't miss it. All right, so interesting enough, San Antonio is a big hotspot for Brazilian steakhouses. If you've never been to one, it's a thing where they essentially bring these giant cuts of meat on a skewer to your table. They bring them table side and then they kind of cut slices off of the meat. You grab them with tongs, put them on your plate and it's all you can eat. Amazing different cuts of steak. What's interesting about this is, again, we have a bunch all throughout San Antonio, but we actually have two located in the downtown area. Texas State Brazil, that's behind me. And then back at the River Center Mall, we have Fogo de Chao. So if you want to try something like this, you've never had it before, two different options in the downtown area. And again, if you come, please do not miss the little cheese bread things. They've got the bread with the cheese in the middle of it. It's amazing. You have to try it. All right, so this is actually really cool. This is not a planned stop on the video, but we came in here to Cookie Plug. We were walking downtown towards the Alamo, saw the spot, had to check it out. If you're familiar with uh, Crumble Cookie, one of the larger chains that exists kind of in your area, this is a really, really neat, kind of a similar concept, but the flavors here are incredible. There are so many choices, way more than six. There was over 15 different cookies to choose from. And if you're like me and you go to Crumble a lot, they don't sell the small cookies uh, without catering. You have to order them ahead and do the catering. Uh, they're ready the next day, it's kind of annoying. But here you could actually get them minimal quantity of 12, but you can get them by the dozen, all their different flavors to try one of each that they have for the day. So definitely check this out, Cookie Plug great spot. I just grabbed the box of seven. You have to stop here and check it out. So as with most major cities in America, a lot of times you have multiple big kind of sporting arenas, right? You have the one that was real popular in the 70s, 80s, 90s. And then as it kind of started to age out, they went ahead and built a big brand new one. And we have something similar here in San Antonio. So behind me is the original one, which is the Alamo Dome. It was the largest and most popular sporting event arena that we had in San Antonio. The Spurs used to play here. So many great names, concerts, shows have come through here and it's still in use today they had the women's final four here a couple years ago and they actually have different events still like uh, disney on ice right and monster jam so they do a lot of cool stuff here at the dome still the spurs came back last season did a cool pack the dome event to set the attendance record which they did which was really really awesome and then from there uh it's still again in use for things so we've moved to another center now the at t center but again the alamo dome still hosts a lot of cool events and definitely worth checking out when you're in town. We're just across the highway from the main part of downtown San Antonio, one of the largest entertainment districts that we have. Right behind me is the beginning of the St. Paul Square. And what St. Paul's is was a very historical a little district, a little region that back in the 1700s is where a lot of people started kind of congregating to, building their homes here, making this their area and their neighborhood that they wanted to live in. Here recently what they've done is they've come in and they've had it make kind of the history, the rich history that was in this district kind of meet the future and they've created this melting pot where they've created brand new boutique shopping, high-end restaurants, living quarters, and everything in between. So this is a great area where once you're walking through the square and you're market, walking through the main market areas that you can have a great night out with entertainment, drinks, live music, cocktails, and more. So definitely make sure that you check this out on your next visit to San Antonio. 
All right, so still here in St. Paul Square, I wanna highlight one of the big nightlife entertainment joints that's down here, the SB right behind me. And what's cool about the SB is that it's got a large outdoor area, kind of where the stage is and it's a big hangout. So if you've ever been to a place where they've got like one of those big, like kind of turf artificial lawns and you just kind of sprawl out, hang out, listen to some live music, relax and have a drink, that's what the SB is down here. It's a great hit with the locals. A lot of great uh, bands and different concerts and things here. We're here on a Friday and they're setting up for an event tonight. So it's always happening every every weekend. They've got something here. So definitely check it out on your next visit downtown. All right, so we've talked a lot about some of the amazing things to do in our downtown area. So I wanna highlight a place that you can live to be near all the action. If you wanna live kind of down here, where we've got all the shops, the restaurants, the dining, and all the amazing things that we've covered in this video. Right behind me is a really good example of a new home construction builder that's actually coming in and building brand new properties here downtown where you can be close to everything but have something that's nice, modern, and new. Here behind me, we have Terramark Homes at the City Center, located just five minutes from downtown, walking distance to the Alamo Dome, and so, so much of the entertainment that we've covered here in this video. We're gonna check these homes out behind me. They've got multiple projects all around this inner city area, starting anywhere in the 300,000, all the way up to about half a million dollars. Let's go inside and let's see what you think. All right, for those of you who like urban development, that's what this is. These are older properties that they came in, they bought the vacant lots, and then they went and built these brand new multi-story units. These units that we're in today, are three stories tall. So again, people that have lived downtown Houston, Dallas, other major metros in America, Miami, uh, California, et cetera, you're gonna be familiar with this urban development. So here we're on the first floor, which is gonna have the garage. So the garage is gonna be located right here. Nice, easy access, full two car garages on these, which is really, really awesome. Tons of space in here on your first floor and you come right into your first room. So on this floor, you've got your big first bedroom right here with a full ensuite. So if again, you're living with somebody that Stairs are an issue, right? Not wanting to go up and down constantly. This is nice because everything's kind of flat. The entryway, the garage, and then of course your, your first floor here. You also have a secondary exit here through this door as well to the other side of the unit. Okay, so we're right at the top of the stairs here for the second story of the home. This is the main living area of this unit. So again, you have another half bath here located. That way you can have all your guests and anyone that's visiting have uh, facilities here located on the same floor as all your entertainment. And look at this kitchen. Look at these modern light fixtures, these finishes, stainless steel, commercial grade appliances, built-in microwaves, you got your dishwasher. This stuff is modern, it's clean, it's trendy, it's classy, it looks awesome. And so again, this style, right? Living downtown, living where you play, living where you work, you get all of this and more in a unit like this. And you can see behind me too, they've used the space really well to have kind of your main living area here, right? Where you've got your like dining space and you can put your table here underneath the light fixture and then it just flows into the open living room that's right here behind me with these incredible views, right? You're able to see this downtown city skyline right out the windows while you're entertaining and more. And what's also neat about this space is coming back towards the kitchen, you've got your fridge right here, but they actually also on this level have your laundry. And so it's kind of nice because instead of having it up on the third floor with all of that noise and the machines going while you're trying to rest and relax, you could have your laundry machine here, right? Kind of by the kitchen so that when there is noise going, there's TV on and you're in your kitchen, you could actually not be disturbed by your clothes because it's located on this floor. So really, really good use of the main living area here. All right, so we've reached the top of the unit here. We're on the third floor and here is again, another secondary room. So remember first floor has that first room. So this is bedroom number two on the third story. Again, if you've got needs of somebody that you want upstairs with you near the primary suite, nearby you, right? Whether that's a family member or anything in between, this room gives you that access. Great views out the windows as well, again, because we're so high up here. This room also comes attached with its own full ensuite. So every single room in this house has a full bath attached to it. This is a three bedroom, three and a half bath home. And as you guys know, especially looking at a lot of new construction in different places, that third full bath is kind of rare, especially in a three bedroom. A lot of three bedrooms in Texas are like a three bedroom, two bath. So the half bath is pretty rare. Again, really, really high end finishes. You've got the wood flooring all throughout the upper level here really nice stuff and then tiling all your wet areas with that bathroom there and then across the hall you've got the primary suite so coming back here we've got the primary behind me this space is the front of the unit 
So that back room over there that we were just in doesn't face the front of the unit, this one does. And so here's where you're gonna get your amazing views of downtown, completely unblocked by anything here. You can see Tower of the Americas and all the downtown buildings from this primary unit. Great big size room as well. Again, nice high-end wood floors here. Uh, you've got your AC unit as well, making sure that everything is optimal and temperatures are extremely cool. And we gotta check out this primary suite bath. The bath within this thing is nuts. It's super huge. Check out this space in here. You've got your double vanity with tons of cabinets and storage space on this thing here in the middle. Really, really well optimized with plenty of room for all of your things. Again, coming into this huge tiled master shower, floor to ceiling, they did not skimp on anything. No plastic insert, nothing. Completely tiled with that mud set tile flooring and then floor to ceiling and you even have a little soap niche and everything in there. And then in the closet, we've got this huge master closet in here. Tons of space for storage. You can check out and just see that they've got lots of different racks and things for all your clothes and anything that you want to hang. So again, guys, great opportunity here to be downtown, living near where you're working and playing in San Antonio. All right, guys, so this has been our amazing downtown San Antonio, inner city, things to do, places to see, and all that and more. My name is Chris Marty, also known as The Rebate Guy. So if you're looking to buy a house or sell a house anywhere in the great state of Texas, please make sure you give us a call. We'll get you set up and save a ton of money while doing it. And as always, like and subscribe to our channel. We're posting amazing, great real estate content, including different lifestyle and entertainment videos every single week. Always talking about things to do in the great city of San Antonio, Austin, and everything in between. We'll catch you next time.